Hi everyone, I'm Shelly from There's No Place Like Home at redheadmom8.wordpress.com. I have spoken several times about being careful, being wary of government overreach when it comes to your homeschool. Sometimes it comes through your school district. Um, sometimes it comes through people pushing for school vouchers to be used for homeschooling. And so somebody actually sent this to me a few days ago, and it's just an example of what sometimes this looks like. And I want this to just be a, a warning to you of something that you really need to watch out for because it very often is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. So first of all, it says, Dear Homeschool Administrator, and um, this is actually coming from a state, um, from a state education department. It says, our division will be in your area holding record review meetings for homeschools. You have been selected to voluntarily meet with a representative from this office to attend a homeschool record review meeting. This meeting will be held at the, and I blanked it out, should last no longer than 15 minutes. Please arrange your specific appointment time within the next 10 business days from receipt of this letter. Um... When calling us, press six when our recorded greeting begins, and we're just going to go down. And then it says, again, at the bottom of that paragraph, it says, the record review meeting is voluntary, so while encouraged, you are not required to attend. If you are not currently homeschooling your children, please close your homeschool by returning the enclosed homeschool update form within 10 days of the above date. If you can arrange to come, it would be very helpful to bring the following to the meeting. One, student attendance records for the previous and current school year. Two, results from the most recently administered nationally standard, standardized achievement test. And three, any questions or suggestions you may have. We appreciate your cooperation in meeting with us. We look forward to hearing from, from you within the next 10 business days from receipt of this letter. If you are unable to attend or would prefer not to attend, we ask that you update your homeschool record by completing the enclosed form and returning to our office as soon as possible. All right. Now, to a lot of people um, who are newer at this or who really aren't aware of the kind of stuff that goes on when it comes to the government trying to stick its tentacles into homeschooling, you know, this, yeah, it, it seems like a pretty harmless thing. And so to a lot of people who are just starting out in homeschooling, and I will say that, yeah, sometimes even veteran homeschoolers who just aren't really awake to this sort of thing, um, they will kind of look at this and just think to themselves, well, hmm, I'm going to participate in this because, you know, this is an act of goodwill towards, towards our school or towards the school district. And so that is really what a lot of people view this as, especially if you notice it keeps repeating that it's voluntary, it's voluntary. So this isn't something that is required by law. I want you to notice that this is voluntary. This is not a requirement of the state's homeschool laws. So what you really need to start thinking about is why then are they doing this? You know, and a lot of the people who who will volunteer to do this sort of thing. They don't think about the repercussions. They don't ask themselves the question, why would, would these people be interested in this information? And you know, we, uh, maybe about two years ago, possibly, I made a video about how you should not over comply with your school district, with your state homeschool laws, because that's something that I find happened a lot in our old school district. You would have the, the school district constantly requesting more information than they were legally allowed to ask for, but people would still give the information to them just because they wanted to, you know, to have a good relationship with the school district. And I was advising against that, you know, simply because that's not what homeschool pioneers and HSLDA, you know, fought for. They, they fought tooth and nail to get us the laws that we have to have them be um, the least restrictive that our legislators or you know, would, would allow. 
And so, you know, I, I read quite a few comments on different social media um, shares of, of that video. And there were some people who were kind of, um, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? They didn't like the fact that I was telling them not to over comply. And what they were basically saying was that if their school district asks them for something, you know, they want to protect their family. So they are going to do what the school district asks. And they didn't like that I was saying, you know, don't do it. But here's the thing. If you are in legal compliance with your homeschool laws, there is no reason that you should be worried about protecting your family. You don't have to go beyond that, you know, beyond, you don't have to go the extra mile with the school district, which is what they try to get you to do all the time. If you are complying with your state laws, as you should be, you have nothing to fear. And what does end up happening if you decide to go over overboard um, is you are risking future legislation if enough people will will give schools information that the school is not legally privy to um, they will eventually end up pushing for more information so now getting back to this letter here now as I mentioned this is actually from from a state education board but you know first of all when I look at this I see two reasons that this letter was sent out the first reason that I see is that this is a blatant attempt at data mining. Um, now, I don't know for sure. I'm just speculating. But chances are that, you know, these people will be reimbursed for the data that will be collected from these homeschoolers. So, you know, that that is one reason. Because, again, if this isn't something that is legally required, why then are they looking for additional information like student attendance records, results from the standardized achievement tests. Um, and, you know, it just, I'm very weary about it. Now, beyond that, I am thinking to myself, as with um, my other my other video that I made where I was telling you not to over comply with your school district, because if too many people do it, they're going to start expecting more. That is what I am looking at here. I think that they are trying to see how how far they can go with these homeschoolers. And if enough homeschoolers who aren't really thinking about the repercussions of this, if they will volunteer to do these things and volunteer to give up this information that is not legally required, eventually the powers that be are, are going to end up expecting this of all homeschoolers. And you know, you see this going on all the time. I'm a member of HSLDA and I get their emails and you constantly see school districts or sometimes even states pushing for things that are not in the homeschool laws. And it's happening over and over and over again. And this letter is just another example of that. Yes, it says that it's voluntary. So yes, they're, they're not telling the people that they absolutely have to do it. My concern is that if they get a lot of people who end up doing this with them, what is the future going to bring? Are they going to start expecting more people to do this? Are they going to push for more legislation and more restrictive laws so that they do get this sort of information all the time? You've got to think about these things. You know, homeschooling is about freedom, and we do not want to give that up. We already have state homeschool laws. They're, they're in place for a reason. You don't want to give them additional information. Because nothing can, nothing good can come out of it, whether it's from attempts at data mining or whether it's from attempts to further restrict future homeschool freedoms. Be wary of this. It's it's going to be, I, I can see things like this are, they're already happening. And so if you do ever get anything like this, you know, really, really think about it before you agree to it. 
Anyway, that's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one over on Instagram because YouTube always disables my comments. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in the description box for that as well. And today I would like to give a shout out to my patron, Anna. Thank you so much for being a patron for so long. I really appreciate your encouragement and I am so glad that you have been finding my videos to be helpful and I hope that all of you have a great day.